Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've had a few of you ask me um, how I cut and shape my Gogo Curl install just because when you install your hair, it doesn't look like mine. Just so you know, when I first have my hair installed, it does not look like what my hair looks like either. I go in and I cut and I shape it. So I'll walk you through how I do that. I am really bad with voiceovers, so what I'm saying is not going to line up with what's on the screen, so you're gonna have to pay attention. So as you can see, when my hair is first installed, it's big, but it's flat, right? There's no life to it, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna wake these curls up. I like to start by cutting off the stringy pieces. I never cut straight across with my scissors. I always go in like an up and down motion. I am not Tokyo Styles. I am not a professional, but this is just the technique that I use. Is it right? Is it wrong? Who knows? Keep in mind that as you wear this install, it will become shorter and shorter because you will be cutting knots out. So I would just recommend keeping the majority of the length. I know not everyone likes wearing really long hair. So cut it to maybe two or three inches um, longer than what you'd really want it to be. Because like I said, as you wear it, you will be cutting knots out. So the hair will become a bit shorter. As you see, I don't cut a lot of the length off at all. I am wearing five packs of the Freetress Gogo Curl in the color 33. If you have never installed the Gogo Curl in your hair before, I would not suggest starting with the 33. For whatever reason, this color tangles and mats so much. I had a lot of issues with tangling with this specific color. I find that the 1B or even the color 30, the color 4, those colors don't tangle as much as this 33. Just an FYI. My lighting is all the way off. So I will insert a photo so you can see how pretty this brown color is. When you're cutting your hair, take your time. Start with longer layers, and then you can shorten the layers as you go. The worst thing that you could possibly do is cut too much hair off, because once it's gone, it's gone. If you don't want your hair to be as big as my hair usually is, keep your layers long. If you're looking for that fullness and that bigness, go ahead and add a lot of short layers to the front and to the top because that's what's going to give you that like big full voluminousness. You will end up cutting off a lot of hair but do not be alarmed because you are still left with a full head of hair to play with. So I will leave the link to my hairdressers Instagram page in the description box below as well as a 20% off discount code for first time customers. And there you have it guys. That's how I cut my hair. I hope this video helped. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.